Rumor has it Donald Trump is sending RFK Jr. to the 2024 Hamas Tunnel Fest in Gaza City. Now, this is very, very interesting because Trump is not actually president, obviously. Number two, because Trump isn't president, he can't send RFK as an official emissary. And if RFK reaches any kind of a negotiation settlement uh, during the Hamas Tunnel Fest, he's not going to, it's not binding because he represents somebody who's not in office. So it's, it, but, but it could be still be symbolic, you know, it could still be symbolic. And, and, you know, look, the thing is, if he goes, if RFK goes in there, you know, he's going to have to bring some ideas that are going to be able to, you know, he's got to sell it to Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad. So when he's down there, you know, and he's like, you know, going to all the tunnels and talking to people, you know what I mean? He's got to sell it to him. He's got to say, look, you know, I'm sent here by Donald Trump. And, uh, you know, I was a former independent candidate, but I, I now endorse Trump. And uh, I'm going to probably be the secretary of HHS or HUD or something, whatever. I'm going to be in the cabinet, you know, and he just did so well in the debate, you know, especially when he pointed out how immigrants are eating cats and dogs, uh, you know, it, that has a lot of power. That has a lot of influence. And I think that, you know, um, the the PIJ guys and the Hamas guys and the Al-Aqsa guys, I mean, because you're going to have to do a lot of travel. Now, the good thing, though, because a lot of people are concerned about RFK Jr.'s health and they're saying, you know, if he's got to travel, because I mean, there's a lot of tunnels to travel, you know, because the IDF, they haven't really been able to do very much with what's called the Gaza Metro. Uh, but I mean, they've knocked out some some smaller stations, you know what I mean? But they haven't really hit the big ones from what the rumors are uh, that I've been privy to uh, from talking to people at coffee shops. You know, uh, I spoke to a, a, a gentleman, a high ranking gentleman at an adult theater. Um, also, you know, like bars and stuff and just, you know, we're in the middle of things. And um, the point is, is that it, it seems like they haven't really hit the major stations. Like, for example, Central Station. I bet you didn't know that, but they have their own central station in Gaza, and it's one of the nicer uh, tunnel stops. And it's rumored that's where RFK Jr. is going to meet with the PIJ and the PBJ guys. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens if RFK Jr., if he can strike a deal um, with the various factions. There's 79 different factions he's got to meet with. But if he can have a successful Hamas tunnel fest, when he comes out of the tunnels, uh, you know, hopefully he'll have like, you know, his people, he's going with an entourage too. And I don't know who's in it. I've heard some names thrown out there like Sidney Powell, the My Pillow guy. I've also heard that Rudy Giuliani might be there. I don't know. I, I have no idea. Chuck Norris was offered, but I don't know. I From what I understand, I don't know. Uh, and so was uh, Philo Beto. But I don't know if any of these guys accepted it. So the reality of the matter is Trump's going to go down there. I mean, excuse me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. RFK Jr. is going to go down there. He's going to have some security with him. Uh, he might have like some other learned scholars like Sidney Powell with him or Oliver North. And so what they're going to do is they have to somehow, I don't know how they're going to do this, guys. This is rumors, but I did look it up. Um, and there was a 2023, 22, 2020, 20, 2021. Um, I think there was even a 19. So this is a, a long thing going. Um, and they were supposed to have... Uh, m and m at one of the tunnel fests, but I mean, I think that was for entertainment uh but anyways, I don't know, but the thing is if r f k jr can get down there and strike a deal with the eighty seven factions that that will hold, and then he can bring that to Trump, and Trump can uh fax it to uh Netanyahu or maybe email it to him you know on an unsecured server and then if Netanyahu, because Trump can solve the problems of the Middle East, the Ukraine, and the global warming issue all in one day. I mean, it would be like a couple hours it would probably take for the, the Israeli-Palestinian affair. Could you imagine that? Like 70 years, more than that, because the British mandate even goes before that, of just bitter division and hatred for each other. Not all across the boards, but a great deal of it. Imagine Donald Trump being able to solve all that in under two hours and it can be done because if he is elected again we're going to make america great again we're going to make earth great again 
The reality of the matter, though, is that if RFK can, can nail it with 164 factions, when he comes back and he's got, like, some definite points, because RFK Jr. was taught by the best. You know, him and the Donald, they've been spending a lot of time together, you know? And I really feel like they're going to be a very strong coalition government. And maybe there'd be some libertarians represented at the table, possibly some 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 American National Socialists, maybe, or maybe Mr. Duke might be in there. I don't know. But the point is, is we're going to make America great again with Donald Trump, uh, you know, and J.D. Vance. You can't forget J.D. Vance, a real hillbilly uh, from I'm from Kentucky and nobody nobody has ever heard of him. But he he may be from here, possibly. The point, though, is, is that. If RFK Jr. can sell it, I mean, if he can sell it, like sell it like he sold his dignity, if he can sell it to endorse Trump, if he can sell it, we might have a deal. If anybody can do it, it's a failed politician like RFK Jr. because he realizes it's not about people liking you or the majority, let alone. It's about can you sell it? You know, and I want to. I, I think that RFK Jr. can sell it. I think he's got that 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 sales in him. You know, but these guys are crazy. There's like 387 factions. They're crazy. Now, some people have said, "Well, what if RFK Jr. brings like a canine or something?" Like, well, not not like uh, like for them as a pet, but as a you know. Like a dead canine, for example. Like J.D. Vance had the dead bear, I think, in his trunk. What if, I mean, I don't know, like, I don't want to see a canine injured, but I mean, like, how else are you going to eat him? But I think if they bring him, like, a canine or something like that, because Trump says that in Springfield, Missouri, or Ohio, or somewhere, uh, the cats and dogs are disappearing. I'm just saying, like, it, it might be worth trying, you know? Like, say, hey, look, let's eat this German shepherd while we talk about, you know, you guys, you know, handing over the hostages and, and, uh, you know, you can eat that ear, you know what I mean? And just, um, you know, I, I look at this point, he's going to be down there in the tunnels anyways. Why not bring a dead German shepherd or something? 